am really, really impressed. I mean, the first episode I've already seen, I'm just, I love the whole concept and theme. Yeah. Can you describe your character for us? Just give us a little bit of a teaser of who he is. Uh, sure. His name is Alan Farragut. He's, um, he's a, a scientist with the Center for Disease Control uh, in Atlanta, and he uh, and his team go up to the Arctic Circle to a, a top secret uh, uh, super advanced biological research facility to contain a viral outbreak. And uh, it turns out the stakes are even higher because uh, one of the three infected scientists up there happens to be his estranged brother who uh, had an affair with his ex-wife who also <laughs> happens to be on Dr. Farragut's team. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's like a it's like, a, I don't know, that description made it sound like a soap opera with test, <laughs> test tubes, but, uh, but it's not. It's anything but. It's a, it's a pretty crazy th roller coaster. Kind of reminds me, I have to admit, that you're almost like a modern Sherlock kind of investigating this, where things have come from. You're, you're coming in almost at the, uh, maybe we'll call it a middle point, and all this stuff has come before. Right. Um, what was it like on set? Because the, the mood watching the episode, it's, it's super creepy, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah, yeah. What, was it creepy on set? It's pretty creepy. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, obviously the, the, the creepiness uh, factor is a result of a great many things, some of which, a lot of which happens after the set. Right. After we work on set, the music and the color timing and the... You know the special effects and all that, but um, uh, you know, generally when we're working, we're just having a bunch of fun. Right. So uh, the atmosphere is not always creepy, and that that's kind of the fun part of it. You're manufacturing this this thing that is not necessarily reflective of uh, what's actually happening on the set that day. Well, you you definitely sell creepy. I mean. <laughs> I, I'm very impressed. It's uh, it's kind of a murder mystery meets uh, you know this genetic uh, yeah. story going over top of it. Yeah. Um, in terms of filming it, you know, when you guys were going through, uh, there's this whole cold factor that you kind of have to sell in a sense that it's based up in the Arctic. Was it cold ever actually, or you guys had to? Yes. Oh, because was. we didn't. Uh, well, we didn't always. Uh, sometimes we shot. We had a little uh, refrigerated uh, right. set. Um, so we shot on that for a while. It was a, a cold room, um, and that was our outdoor for a while. Uh, and then later on, we shot outdoors when there was some snow, and so that was uh, mm. awfully cold and wet. Um, so it was. Uh, there were times when we were cold and wet. And the, during the pilot, we didn't quite have our cold room yet, right. and it was. I think it was June or July in Montreal, <laughs> and we were on a soundstage that was filled with fake snow, and uh, of course we were all in extreme cold weather gear, mm. uh, you know, wow. Canada goose jackets and so forth, with toques and scarves and all that, and so it was. Uh, there were there was a day or two where it was uh, um, where it was unpleasantly <laughs> sticky. <laughs> Which is kind of funny for a show that's set in the Arctic. Yeah, I mean, we were there, you know, like supposedly freezing our buns off, and we were just dripping sweat on the inside. So when you first got, uh, you know, involved in this project, what what sold you on him? Because I mean, he's absolutely an interesting character, but was there something specific that you really wanted to play? No, I mean, I was sold on. I was primarily sold on the, you know, the fact of um, it being a, a sci-fi slash horror. Genre. I'm a big fan of that kind of thing. Um, you know, to me, it was kind of a mashup of a few of my favorite things: uh, the Andromeda Strain, right. which is a great movie, uh, and um, John Carpenter's The Thing, and uh, you know, a little bit of The Walking Dead. Right. Though I have to be, I have to stress that we don't have zombies. <laughs> I think we have something much scarier. Hmm. We have living human beings who are horribly infected. Uh, and uh, terribly infectious, and uh, they have, are suffering a uh, you know an uncontrollable compulsion to infect others. Hmm. So uh, it's I think that is much much more frightening than, than uh, zombies. Well, I mean it is it is something that we we hear so much about these days is disease and mm -hmm. you know the fear of that kind of infection spreading worldwide and that sort of thing. I mean it's. 
it's it's something that I think is more primal even than all those other fears, maybe. Uh, do you have any fears of that sort of nature? Is there anything that you're afraid of that way? No? Not really. No. No. I mean, you know, I, I, uh, I've been saying all day, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not a germaphobe. I, I... It's probably like, good on a show like this. <laughs> I like germs. I make friends with germs. I invite them into my life on a daily basis. And, uh, Makes you stronger, mind. right? Yeah, I, I used her chapstick just a few minutes ago. Wow! Well, that is saying something. Uh, you know, in terms of where this is going, obviously, you know, there's, there's not much you can talk about, but is there... When you got to the end, were you even surprised where the story goes? or uh, well, How did you feel about that? I surprise? was... Um, I w yes, I was, in, in ways, surprised um, where the story went and by the storytelling. Um, I won't divulge all the ways in which I was surprised, um, but uh, uh, yeah, it was it was certainly unpredictable. Mm -hmm. it was certainly unpredictable, and I think the audience will uh, will uh, I hope they will enjoy that aspect of it. Do you uh, do you get a kick out of this kind of role too, in the sense that you're you're playing someone who's kind of well, like I said, the Sherlock, the sleuthing kind of nature, is that, is that an interesting role to play as well? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I, I, what's, what interests me about any given role is, is, kind, of, uh, is kind of the... Um, it, it, it's not as much the circumstance, I guess, as it is... The, as it is uh, I get terribly excited by a role which I think I'm right for, <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, I, I, I read scripts all the time. Sometimes I get asked to audition for roles that I, for which I'm not right. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I'm right anyway. And, and um, I don't often even go on those auditions because mm -hmm. I, I don't really uh, have an interest in even trying to do a role that I just don't think I'm right for. Right. So, yeah, I, I was excited to do this, am excited to do this, um, because I think I am right for it, uh, and we'll see if that's a happy thing. Uh, my other question would be, in terms of making the show, it's, it's, we're seeing a lot more of these shows that are cross-border. You're seeing something that's filmed in Montreal, but it's international cast. Uh, what was it like filming in Montreal for this show? It was fantastic. Yeah? yeah I mean, Montreal was, is such a great spot. Uh, I adore Montreal. I shot there, I shot something there 13 years ago. Um, and I, but I didn't really have time to get to know the city right. at that point. And, <clears throat> and uh, this time I was there for, for months and mm. uh, really got a sense of the city. And I absolutely loved it. I love Montreal. That's cool. I'm super, super, uh, um, I'm a big Montreal fan now. In other words, if you have to be away somewhere filming a show, you'd, you'd rather be somewhere nice, in other words. I'd be very happy to be stuck in Montreal, that's well, for sure. We hope you get stuck there again next year. I hope so, too. Well, my last question is, yeah. you know, in terms of, uh, you know, the antics on set, did you guys, you said you had fun. What was it like with the rest of the cast? It was terrific with the rest of the cast. You know, sometimes casts don't gel. Right. Uh, or sometimes you have divas, or sometimes, you know, anything can happen. It's and you're a, not the diva, it's right? a group of people. I don't think of myself <laughs> as a diva, but, you know, maybe I am on some levels. I don't know. But uh, but I like to have fun when I'm at work, and and uh, fortunately, all the rest of the cast are the same way. And uh, they like to work, too. So there was none of this uh, hanging around in the trailers and then being slow to come out right. stuff. We were all on set all the time, <laughs> reading books and chatting and playing Angry Birds and, uh, and uh, all right there and raring to go when they asked for us. So uh, uh, it, was a, it was a really, really pleasant uh, experience. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.